All right, this is something people keep asking me uh, about when I'm playing or during in the comments after my videos are done. What do I think about the new jungle items? Or at least a rework to the spirit stone and its evolutions. Uh, the whole, you know, they, they took Wraith's passive and gave it to all the others in a smaller scale. And they gave the Wraith a uh, whole another pa uh, passive uh, ability. Either way, in short, it just ended up giving champions a huge sustain buff. They re removed all the regeneration stats from uh, the I the spirit items, but they gave him th this new, uh, like, kind of lifesteal thing, but that restores both mana and health. And to be frank, it's pretty much made junglers insane right now, at least in terms of clearing the jungle. Any jungler that has good attack speed, uh, AoE abilities, a good sustain, a good sustain damage either through spells or whatever, or low cooldowns to the point where they can spam a bunch of damage spells, or is pretty crazy right now. Characters like Elise and hell, even Udyr, who is notorious for mana issues, are pretty much running full on drunk on mana right now and health too. Uh, pretty much jungling has become a lot easier, and that's not a bad thing. Now you're more you're encouraged to farm the jungle and look for plays instead of trying to force them. Think of it this way: if I'm mean, in the past, you were to farm the jungle and not have enough health or mana to go for a gank because either it's too risky or whatever, you just won't go for it any plays. You're like, oh, the top lane, fuck, there's a gank that I could have got, but if I go there, I can't help. But now, you, when you farm, you'll be at good enough health levels and good enough mana levels with pretty much any, jung any jungler you pick that like you can go to a, a lane and go, huh, I see a play about to happen. I am always healthy enough to go there. Pretty much even junglers with notoriously terrible sustain like Wukong are, can be pretty healthy now. He's got attack speed steroid, he's got good damage, he's got low cooldown abilities and that kind of spam, uh, spamitude that takes a full advantage of the item. The thing is, it's not just a uh, lifesteal on it it's, or anything like that. It's a sort of da all around damage, re uh, damage to health conversion thing. So anybody, even any caster, any or any of that kind of sort, that usually had a problem because they couldn't take advantage of the life steal on hit or whatever, now can. They have their own little version. So this thing is just uni a universal, a universal buff to all junglers. It pretty much makes jungling trivial, like I already said, but much better. I mean, yeah, people will call to bring up Stonewall. Didn't you like season one where it was hardcore and everything, and everything was painful? Yeah, it was hardcore. The monsters would kill you, but that's not what made it fun. It wasn't fun to be killed by monsters. What was fun is planning the whole thing, planning how to sustain yourself, and planning your plays and whatever you're gonna do. It they've essentially brought it back with this. I mean, yeah, the jungle isn't dangerous anymore, but now, uh, but it gives you a lot less than it gave you in season one. However, now you do have the means to farm it and power farm it by all means and still be sustained enough to go in and make a full-on action-packed play. In the past, you wouldn't always have, you know, the mana or, or the health to make something complicated, but now you can stay in and brawl it out for full because you have a lot of health or whatever. Sure, it, it hurts roaming because, and uh, protecting lanes because you have actual no combat stats, not even regeneration, but it doesn't matter. You, if you, uh, that extra wraith you camp you farm, that extra wolf pack you uh, kill, it's probably enough to buy a fairy charm if you really, really desperately need a mana regen. The article in the description gives you far more information than what I am giving you. So this video is mostly kind of a rant but to encourage you to go in and read it for more in depth. It's just me giving you my opinion as to why I really like these jungle changes and why they're pretty so damn good, in fact, overpowered. They're gonna nerf them in the PvE, as you've already seen. They're gonna take you down by like 5% uh, damage to monsters, and so I think they're gonna remove at least 1% of the regeneration per hit damage you do, because it's pretty ridiculous. But, you know, it's understandable. The, the spirit items have always been overpowered, and they try to remove some of the strength by yeah, removing the regeneration. That's kind of pointless, because no one really bought it or cared for the regeneration, aside from very small number of junglers, and even then, it's not a big deal. So yeah, the new the new things really help out, and if, if people would say, oh, does this make X jungler or X champion be able to jungle? Well, you know what? These changes they actually do. These changes out of all the jungle changes they've ever done, 
these changes actually help out some of the weirder jungles be a lot better. Junglers like Cassiopeia, Syndra, and Malzahar, are really weird picks that could always jungle but kind of had a lot of issues, can actually do it properly now, or at least much better than they used to. That's that's just that's how strong these changes are. And I, for one, welcome it because uh, I'd rather make plays and farm the jungle. Or at least farm the jungle and be able to make plays and actually pick up fights and not be caught off, you know, caught off guard. So yeah, of course, there's still the big problem of Regal's Lantern being completely fucking useless. And you can read all the, some of the suggestions people have given uh, about buffing the Lantern, including my suggestion that I kind of bring up a lot in the article as, as well. So check it out in the description and support it on Reddit and our rate of gaming. And hopefully this answers your curiosity as to what I think on these new jungle changes. In short, they're so damn good.